Today on Steve's Garage, I cover how to change the angle gear and rear differential fluid on a P80 Volvo. This may also work on P2 cars up to O2 before they switch to the Haldex system, but I don't personally know. If you do, feel free to leave a comment. I'm covering both because it's a good idea to do them at the same time since the procedures and the oil they use are the same. The only real difference is the location and capacity. Let's start off with what you'll need. First, some 75W90 gear oil. I won't tell you what brand to use, but I did use AMS oil and I haven't had any complaints. Whatever you decide, just make sure it meets GL5 specifications. I used a 13mm socket, wrench, and ratchet for the fill plugs, though I have seen some places online say it's a 14. Either check yours first, or make sure you have both sizes handy. Next, you'll want some sort of fluid pump. I bought the style that screws onto the bottle of gear oil, though you could also use something like a Mighty Vac or a big fluid syringe. You'll also want something to measure the fluid with. You could use an old oil bottle, but something like a cork cup with measurements on it is way more helpful. New crush washers aren't a bad idea either. They're cheap, and you might as well while you're there. The drain plugs technically have a torque spec, but it's low, and they're in a really tight spot, so I won't be using a torque wrench today. Lastly, be sure to have any other incidentals like a drain pan, towels, brake clean, gloves, etc. I found it easiest to lift the car and have it on four jack stands, that way it remains level while you do the work. It's easiest to access the angle gear going in from the front of the car. You'll see a power steering line, the bottom of the case, and if you go up from there, you'll find the fill plug. Remove the fill plug and make sure that you've got the crush washer with it, and now we can extract the fluid. Since there's no drain plug, you'll have to fish the hose connected to your pump as low as you can get it inside the angle gear. You'll be sucking the old fluid out, and this is where you can use an old oil bottle or cork cup to measure what comes out. Once you've pumped out the angle gear, I suggest going to the rear diff and doing that one as well. It's best to remove all the old fluid, clean your pump, and then pump in the new fluid. The differential is located above the rear subframe. The fill plug is another 13mm bolt with a crush washer, and it's tucked up pretty high on the driver's side. I removed a hair over 1 liter, and I put the same back in. I kept seeing anywhere between 1 and 1.5 for capacity, so I think as long as you take out more than 1 liter, you're good to put that same amount back in. Now back up to the angle gear. The old Volvo spec was to fill it until it came out of the fill hole, but that is no longer accurate. You want 0.75 liters. Looking at what I took out, it looks more like 0.5, but I was leaking and I'm not sure how much I lost. I put 0.75 liters back in, it didn't reach the fill hole, so that seems accurate enough to me. As for refilling, I think there's a couple different ways to do it. You could measure out exactly what you need to put in, but then you have to make sure you suck all of it up and get everything out of the line and the pump itself. What I did was connect my pump to a full bottle, pumped out three quarters of a liter for the angle gear or just over one for the rear diff, pumped that until it came out of the bottle, then removed the pump from the bottle and pumped out the remaining fluid. Neither the angle gear or the rear diff has leaked or made noise, so I'd say the fluid level's good in both. If you've got a better method, definitely leave a comment. I'd like to know, and I'm sure anyone watching this video would also like to know. One last thing about refilling the angle gear. If you wanted, you could go in from the top, but you would need a second person to hold the hose in the angle gear. You can fit a hose between the engine and the firewall, but I wouldn't trust this without someone making sure that the hose doesn't fall out and dump your new fluid all over the ground. Once you're done, grab your drain plug, crush washer, and tighten them down. The OEM spec is 25 foot-pounds, but because of the low spec and where they're located, I simply snugged them up and didn't use a torque wrench. And that's all there is to it. Take the car out for a drive, keep your ear out for any weird noises coming from the angle gear or rear diff. It's also not a bad idea to get back into the car and check for any leaks. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I try to answer everyone. If you enjoyed this video, think about subscribing to catch my future Volvo videos. And for now, check out my P80 Volvo playlist for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.